Hi everybody, here I am. Um, tonight we're going to be making a, an acorn squash and Facebook was kind of acting up. So I'm just going to do the video and then I'll post it later. So this will be a little different and a little fun. Not live and interactive, but we're still going to be together. So my friend Leanne shared this great recipe, a sausage stuffed acorn squash. So I'm going to epicurize this and kind of put my own twist on it. And I think that will be a ton of fun. I've already washed my hands, got my hair up. Let's get my apron on. And it's backwards. Oh, well, it is a Monday. Have you ever just had a Monday? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's a Monday, people. All right, so I'm going to turn on my wok. In the oven, I have one, two, three, four acorn squash, and they need to go in the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes, it said. Hang on. Let me get to the recipe. Um, 40 minutes, and they've been in there about 30, 40 minutes because I've been trying to get online for 20. So I'm going to let them keep cooking for a minute while we get our meat going. So I'm going to kind of move you down here. I am going to get my Epicure cutting mat and set it right here. And my new arm is coming today or tomorrow. Use my Epicure Prep Pro knife. Now, the recipe called for squash, and I thought about going and getting Gianelli squash, but then I checked the freezer, and voila, I have um, sausage patties, because we just got a new freezer, which my Epicure paychecks on Friday are going to be paying for that baby before there's any interest. So that's pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do is just cube up my sausage. All right. And then I'm going to put it in the crock pot, not in the crock pot, in the wok. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna slide you over. Oh. All right, take the lid off the wok. I'm gonna add a little olive oil. Okay. Add the squash. Notice how, because it's a mat, it slides. But I'm just gonna cover that for now and then I'm gonna do half ground beef, half sausage. So I'm doing a half and half mix. So I'm doing half ground beef, half sausage. About two pounds of each. Okay. Throw this away. My and then to the meat, we're going to add some oh, sage and apple stuffing, roasted garlic aioli, and apple pie spice. And we're going to do about a tablespoon of each. I'll get my Epicure 4-in-1 measuring spoon. I think I'm only going to do a half a tablespoon. Ah, uh, I'll just do the tablespoon of the apple pie spice, a tablespoon of sage and apple stuffing mix. Mm, I'm doing two tablespoons. All right, two tablespoons of the sage and apple stuffing seasoning, and then I'm going to do a tablespoon of the garlic aioli. And then I'm just going to cover that up. So we have our sausage and ground beef on the grill. I mean, we have our sausage and ground beef on the wok. 
Well, the squash cooks in the oven. We're gonna cube, dice up some fresh mushrooms, an apple, and an onion. Okay. So we'll do that now. So we're gonna do the onions and mushrooms. Okay, so we got mushrooms, onions, and now an onion, or an apple. Welcome back. All right, it's time to take the squash out of the oven and let it cool so that we can scoop it out. The sausage, ground beef, mushrooms, onion, and apple are on the stove simmering with the roasted garlic aioli, the sage and apple stuffing seasoning, and the apple pie seasoning. And the squash hat was spritzed with olive oil and then some SPG seasoning, all from Epicure. So which one did I put in first? I don't remember. So I have them on the quarter sheet pans in the um, multi-purpose steamers with the lids on because the multi-purpose steamer is oven and microwave safe. So I'm gonna open it away from me and then I just need to see how it's doing with a fork. See if it's fork delicious yet. Not yet, still hard. All right, smells good though. So I'm gonna put those back in for a little bit longer, but I'll be coming back. All right, so the squash is out of the oven. I left one in so it can cook a little bit longer. Take the lid off, set it there. So we have our two squash, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that right away because that's all right now we need to scoop this out and then we're going to add it to the mix on the stove which i probably should show you all right so i'm going to show you the mix on the stove maybe i can't flip my camera around let's check our squash I mean, our sausage, ground beef, mushrooms, onions, and apples that are on the stove. So I need to scoop out the squash and add it to the meat, onion, mushroom mix. So I'm gonna use my eight cup pot and get a spoon. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you leave some of that outer shell on there because we're gonna scoop all that stuff back and then we're gonna bake it um, in the shell. So now I'm gonna scoop out all the squash. Okay, so I have taken all the squash out of the um, inside of the squash, so the innards have been scooped out. And I've added the first batch already to the sausage, ground beef, mushroom, onion mix. And now I'm adding the second batch 
And because I am impatient, my shells didn't hold up of my acorns to stuff this back into. But flavor wise, I think it tastes and smells delicious. Um, but because I didn't let my acorn shells cool enough before I cleaned them out, I ended up damaging the shells on half of them. And then I thought about, well, I could keep half to stuff them and take a picture so that you could see it stuffed in a shell and it would be beautiful. And you'd all say, ooh, ah, oh. but here's the reality. I got so frustrated with it, I said, forget it. I tossed all the shells in the garbage. So we keep it real here. So my husband and I are not fussy. You don't eat the shell anyway. It's just for looks. So it's gone. And we just have the inners mixed in with that sausage mushroom deliciousness. Look, at there's a little skin I missed. Mm. Oh my gosh, the flavor though? The flavor is divine. Oh my golly. All right, so I will show you the finished product. It's been simmering over here on the wok, in the wok, I should say. So let me grab. There is the finished sausage, ground beef, stuffed casserole, stuffed squash innards. But because I'm impatient, you don't get to see it in an acorn shell. It's just going to go in a bowl. Thanks for watching. I tried to beat technology, but I think technology won. Have a great week, everybody.